right. Welcome back to the Pause Up Podcast, episode Woo! 43. We are right. back better than ever. Uh, Jake is back. We are joined by Jake Gibson, Jonathan Mayer, my co-host. And we have a very exciting special guest on here. FIU Baseball's own Roy Award winner, team MVP. Now an alumni for FIU, Alex Sanchez. Alec, thank you so much for hopping on. We're excited to have you. Of course. I'm excited to join you guys tonight. Johnny, I'll let you uh, kick it off. Yeah, so uh, let's, you know, before, let's talk about, you know, growing up. Was was baseball your first sport? Did you play any other? Uh, what was childhood like for, for Alex Sanchez? Yeah, um, I started to play baseball when I was around four years old. Um, I actually played basketball one year in middle school. It didn't go as planned. I wasn't that thing. I thought I was good, but I wasn't. So I gave that up So to focus on baseball. So I've been doing that since four years old. Mm. What what position did you play in basketball? <laughs> Try to play shooting guard. <laughs> okay. I was oh, cool, cool. I was probably I was seventh man off the bench probably like so it's starting five right. and the second second off the bench. That's not bad. Mm. Yeah. No, I mean, not, yeah. I want to go into now. Johnny mentioned the child to just keep going moving forward in your baseball career. Just. You know, you you go into high school. So, how was the recruiting process like for you? Because for everyone, it's different. So, what was it like for you? And you ended up choosing FSU originally. Oh uh, yeah, um, I committed to FSU in eighth grade. Um, it was a quick recruiting process for me because FSU was my dream school. Um, so I went over there on a visit when they played Clemson when Jameis Winston was a quarterback. Oh. It, it was actually the game he was suspended okay. for for the stealing of whatever he did. Uh, so we know, we know, we know. Yeah. So I went, I went there, then uh, committed on the spot. So it was a quick process. And with that, I mean, mm. you went were mm. part of that 2019 team. With so FSC. the most days. So, oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was, go, I was, I was, I was going to talk about, so no, you no, were part of that. Of Florida State in 2019, which was the final year with Mike Martin, who's you know one of the greatest coaches in college baseball. You guys went to Omaha. What was that like for you to be part of a winning team and to go all the way um, in your first year as a freshman? Um, it was quick, honestly. Uh, it was a quick year. I wish it went by slower as as a freshman, but going to Omaha was a once in a lifetime dream. Uh, I wish I could experience it again, but doing it as a freshman. All the seniors at FSU used to tell me that I was lucky as a freshman for doing it, and now I see why they said that. So, yeah, it was, it was really cool. So, Alec, uh, you you have now entered um, a guest list that has featured a, a, a few athletes um, now for FIU, uh, our first being uh, Grace – well, Billy Gill, but our first active athlete being Grace and Janes, and then, we, of course, we had um, the, the Rhino on not that long ago, right? <laughs> um so the thing I always like to know um, about athletes coming to FIU in Miami is is the transition from where they were from before. And if I'm not mistaken, you grew up in in, in Jacksonville, uh, Duval County, not that far from here. Um, yeah. So w- when when you first uh, got recruited by FIU, made made your trip to campus to 305, just what were your just initial thoughts on on spending your college time here? Um, it was great. Um, Marvell was my travel coach for. Uh my whole my whole travel time so uh him giving me the visit around campus was really cool i really liked it and i felt like it was home right when i stepped on campus mm. and well i obviously you you've been on campus quite a bit now G- give us the scoop <laughs> what's 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 the where was your go-to destination on campus for food to hang out to, to get the I didn't work eat on, on campus? I, I didn't eat on campus on Chipotle. Oh, Chipotle you every never day. Ate on campus. Chipotle every day. That's what we did. That's a good choice. That's now not, Johnny, that's valid though. Valid. Now Johnny would tell you but, Chipotle is overrated though. So yeah, for real but, Johnny. Really? What what what? Yeah, what's your order I, I at like Chipotle? Most Mo's, Mo's is better, in my opinion. <laughs> 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 oh, that's right. FIU does have a modes, right? That's the only, that, only uh, take I give is from at PG5. Yes. I do go to Breezeway, so that's pretty good. Okay, well, yeah. Every, everybody, everybody's got to go to Breezeway. That's like part of the yeah. FIU law at, yeah. as, as a student and or student athlete. Thanks. So 
now you know obviously what was the coaching change like you know you you went with murph for a couple of years you got you go with through you know now coach Whitten enters the the scene just want to ask you how was the coaching change like and what were the main differences you saw now you were able to go through a full year with coach Whitten. what were the differences between merv and and coach Whitten? um <clears throat> wasn't really much of a big difference um both are great coaches uh great coaches i respect both of them um I just feel like this year we were we were more mature, more more organized, and more I don't know, just we we're older, just w more wanting to win because we've lost the past whatever years. So yeah, we didn't get to the conference tournament, but I think FIU is in the right direction. Mm. Can you talk about some of the opportunities? Uh, one thing I think last year was with Jeff Conine, who was your hitting coach. What was that like for you to learn from a major leaguer that's, you know, spent a veteran guy, you know, and now was, was your coach last year? Yeah, no, that was that was pretty cool having uh, Mr. Marlin as our hitting coach. He worked hard with us, and, yeah, I, I, I missed him. Hmm. What were some things that he? What were some things that he may have taught you that you really didn't know of entering? You know, right when you, before he came in and kind yeah. of helped you guys out. Um, he taught more on the mental side uh, of hitting, not more physical, more mental. So just having the right mental approach, going up there in the right plan, like what we want to hit, stuff like that. Hmm. So so let's let's take it back a couple of years. Um. Uh. You you were there as I was there and Johnny was there. Kevin, you were not there. Shame on you, Kevin. But let, let let's take it back to 2020. Um, that cursed season where where COVID took over. Right. Um, I've always wanted to ask an uh, uh, a member of the baseball team about that experience. It's something that I've always thought about. Just how did they handle the season? Just being being axed right then and there because we were all because. Uh, the last FIU game, I, I before that season cut, I can't remember who it was against, but it was at home. We were all watching media. We were watching the TV. Fordham, Fordham, Fordham. No, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah. Was, no, I was no, Fordham. No, no. Fordham was the season opener. Uh, it, it was, was the uh, Pepperdine or something. Yeah, it was like it was the series after Fordham. I'm pretty sure, mm -hmm. but we were watching on TV. They just canceled an NBA game. It looks like the season something like canceled. We thought, oh my god, this is happening. And then it like, was actually uh, Bethune Cookman. Like, it was Bethune Cookman. It was okay. It was Bethune Cookman. All right. Cool. 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 So I, I just, I want, I always wanted to know. Now I get the chance to ask you, Alec. What, what was, uh, what was the mood, uh, in in your friend group and just around, uh, around your whole base that the COVID was real and it was canceling this season. Alec. Oh boy, Alec, are you there? Uh oh, is anybody uh, watching? Oh, getting flashed? Oh, we're here. We're here. All right, we no, we got you back. Now yeah, I, I, I think we're good, Alec. All right, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's my Wi-Fi. Uh, so just yeah. to uh, wrap up the question, I, I, but I'll yeah, no, nah, um, yeah. um, we were on the bus actually going to where were we going? Uh, Southern Miss. Okay. So we were on the bus going to Southern Miss and we weren't leaving and we were like, we we're like, why aren't we leaving? We were like, um, we weren't, we didn't think anything about COVID because we thought that was all a joke at one point. So we were just sitting there and then Merv told us, uh, we're not going, our season's done. And that was just a shock to us, honestly. Wow. He, he just straight up said that season's over? Basically like that. Like we're not going, like <laughs> they're not allowing us. Wow. It was wow. crazy. Unreal time and then, that was. And within that season, um, I got to shout out Logan Allen. You played with him for a little bit and you see him now I in the big leagues. Him. He had a seven inning performance, struck out 10. Just what is it cool yeah. seeing him doing his thing in the big leagues right now? It's crazy because I've, I've been playing with him since we are probably 14 with Coach, Coach Merv. So he's been, he's had the same pitching, pitching, uh, form everything everything's been the same for him so it's been crazy to see but it doesn't surprise me that he's doing it he's done it at every level <laughs> kevin you okay there <laughs> we're good <laughs> we haven't had Man. this many technical difficulties since the um since the kyle the, russell episode the kyle russell episode <laughs> yeah uh it's all good though um yeah. 
So I wanted to ask you, Alec, this season, I think it's time we could start diving into this season. You got off to a good start, but then the injury kind of hampered you. Mm. Just I know we spoke about getting back to it, but how would you describe then the whole season? You know, you guys get off to a pretty good start, then you get a little losing streak going. It was really up and down for you guys. And I guess on the positive side, despite losing to the Canes a couple of times, but those were probably some of the more competitive games you've got four played times. this season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, four times. <laughs> we, we, we were there, there Kevin. Come on. We were it's there. All right. but, it's all right. We know we, we know we won that one. We know we won that one. <laughs> So, <laughs> Big just, facts. Just talk about the 2023 season for us, you know, um, just describe it in the team's perspective. It was a fun year, honestly. Yeah, we didn't win as much as we wanted, but this is probably one of the most fun years I had with the new guys coming in. We all mixed in pretty well. And the staff we got along with really well. And I don't know, like I said earlier in the cast, they're, they're, in, the, they're in the right direction with Coach Witten. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I asked this question to, to Rhino um, when we had him on, and I'll ask it to you too. Was there a point uh, – what, what was the point in this season where you – when you when you may have first realized that Rich Witten was was the coach that was here to stay and um, um, he was going to leave the team? Probably when we went on that nine-game winning streak. Okay. Yeah. That, we were rolling then. Yeah. Um, and the funny part is, I wasn't even playing, so I wasn't. I was enjoying it even more. I didn't have to right. stress about anything. You, uh, so yeah, you 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 got to see it from a distance. I was like, man, he's he's that guy. Yeah, he's he's leading these these guys. Yeah, it was cool to watch from the outside. I I, I was thinking though, because the, the games you missed were the highest scoring games, and I feel like you look at your stats. You had a great year. If you mm-hmm. if you played those games, man, you, yeah. you know those you got got more home runs, more RBIs. But, yeah. but adding to that, to talk about your season as well. It, it felt like, you know, last year you were, you know, extra base hits, but this year more power came into play. Just talk about maybe the adjustments that you made over the off season to really see the power and obviously hit for, for a good average of 330. Yeah. Um, honestly, Coach Wayne gave us a couple of drills to do in the fall. So I added that to my routine um, and just honestly just doing that routine every day and getting in the weight room every every time we got weight, just attacking that hard and just having the right mental side. I was just more confident this year, I think. Mm. So even even with that um, un- unfortunate injury, you still played uh, in, in quite a bit and qu- you still saw quite a bit of action for FIU and, and you had some absolutely amazing games where like uh, – multiple homers multiple hits just off, off the top of your head is is there a game that you played this past season that still stands out to you as your as your piece de resistance for your time um, at FIU uh whew. um not really um probably this honestly the series at DBU I liked a lot mm-hmm. because that was our first conference road game and uh, <clears throat> we won on. Uh-oh. Uh, no, no. Alec, Alec, that again. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay, maybe he'll maybe he'll just pop up just just like last time. I know it's that FI. It's got to be that FIU Wi-Fi, right, Johnny? He's not even at FIU. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, it, 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 it's all good. It's all good, Alec. I'm gonna put him in the. Uh, oh, is he there? Yeah, yeah, he's there. What? Well, it's not coming up for me. All right, yeah. okay, it's fine. Now we're good. Okay, we're good. Um, okay, we're good. The DBU okay, series cool, cool, cool. was the, the the DBU series was a big one for me. Yeah. So, yeah. anything else on your end, guys? I was gonna say, you know, you talk about, you know, how how fun yeah, a me? great group yeah. of guys it was this year. And with that, you know, you played around great around so many great guys, whether it's you know Ryan, Mike Rosario. So, what is it like having those guys to be able to you know feed off one another and bounce off each other? And eventually, you you know, one of the top offices in the conference. It was it was pretty cool. We uh we we fed off each other. Um, when one guy didn't get it, we picked the other guy up. When the like when we were all three rolling, I I didn't think we lost one game all year, honestly. But it's hard to have all three guys going at the same time. But Having those three guys to – having those two guys to back me up or hit in front of me was pretty cool. Mm. 
What was that relationship yeah. like with with Ryan, especially? I mean, you you it was you and then Ryan, or vice versa. How was that like? You guys, you had the back to back homers against FAU in that game where you guys mercy ruled them. You guys had a couple great moments. What was that like with you know to have that cool. relationship with Ryan? Um, Ryan's a great kid, great teammate, um, great player. Um, and it was cool for him to hit behind me when we back. The my favorite one was when we went back to back against Miami. The last game of the year. Yeah, that was right. my favorite one. But yeah, it was cool to play with Guida. Mm -hmm. And I uh you know what? I asked this question to Ryan and he didn't he didn't completely answer it because he wasn't completely sure, right? But I'll I'll ask this question to you. What is the origin of the rally cactus? Uh Honestly, I couldn't tell you. I wasn't behind the rally cactus. Uh, I didn't. Even, I didn't even know about it till I saw it. So I just looked at the rally cactus, and every time we brought it out, we somehow scored. So that's all I know about it. And I think I may have asked you this the first game, but the celebration with the umbrella—what was that all about? Mm. Oh, we were thinking of it because I told us before the season we couldn't bring props out on the field. So Mario Fernandez thought of. They went to Target during our rain delay in the first game, and they found an umbrella. So we thought, and that's what we did. So it's just like raining, I guess, in the dugout. Raining homers, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. did. So, uh, again, the the 2023 season definitely had its it, its ups and its downs. Um, so I'll I'll ask I'll ask you, Alec. Uh, uh, uh earlier I asked what was you think was your your favorite game just you wise but not let, let's go team wise what do you think was um the point in the season where FIU performed at its absolute best uh, Charlotte mm. the Charlotte weekend Charlotte yeah. or UTSA UTSA was also a great one yeah yeah um and it's funny Charlotte won it all so yeah as it would turn out right yeah, I think I think DBU Charlotte. One of them gonna go. One of them's gonna go far. Mm -hmm. And you guys played them really well too. I mean, you guys you got yeah. to go to both both or you guys should have took the DBU series. It feels feels like, but you yeah. guys took Charlotte. Who do you guys think is gonna win Omaha? Ooh, Lord, <laughs> it, it's I'll stay Miami. I I I I was just gonna say it's not gonna be Miami because they're gonna have their oh, work no. cut out against Texas and Louisiana. They're gonna have their work cut out for them against them there, but I I, I really know. couldn't tell you. It, it's it's like picking the college basketball. You're pretty much bound to never get it right, completely yeah. right, right? Uh, Miami's a pretty good team. I'll say that much. Kevin, stop. They are good. They are good. Oh. They are good. They're really good. I mean, you, look today, the other day or a couple of days ago, they updated the the top MLB draft prospects, and Miami has like three or four guys on that top two hundred, I think. And you know it's it's impressive what what the talent that they develop, man. I got to give them their flowers every once in a while. They're good. They're good. It just it it doesn't seem right to do that, Kevin. I'm just gonna. I know. <laughs> uh, in front of Alec too. I'm sorry. Right. Gotta gotta <laughs> give them flowers though. But ahead, if, if not they're, Miami, they're I, I don't get me wrong. Like... I just don't think they're gonna win it. Okay. No, they're probably yeah. not. They're just a good team. Hot I, right I, now, I, if I had to, if I had to pick, I shoot. It might be University of Florida, like the Gators. Gators have looked. Yeah, yeah, the Gators yeah that's, that's the higher. They got. Some I stuff. would not be shocked if the Gators took it, took it all. Though, just the way yeah, they, they. I like do. that pick. Got something to hit him with, Johnny. I was gonna also add. I mean, besides the, you know, talking about the World Series, I just want to talk to you about, you know, for you, just being able to. Last week, you know, being honored as first team all conference for you. What was that like oh, yeah. to be named to such a high honor, especially in, in your final year to, you know, kind of everything culminate, culminates to, you know, being one of the top players in all the conference? It was pretty cool. Um, all hard work um, paid off, I think, when I saw that. Um, but I don't know. I, I got to thank my coaches and teammates for that because mm. without them, that wouldn't be possible. So, right. All right, Jake, is it news break right. time for you? I think it is news break time, Kevin. Welcome to 
the Pause Up Podcast news break. Your very brief look at all things uh, FIU athletics and just FIU in general condensed into a news break. So start off with football, who very recently unveiled their brand new locker room. This new locker room is a direct result of the multi-million dollar anonymous donation that's going directly to both the football and basketball facilities. The brand new locker room also comes after FIU first teased their brand new Vice uniforms, which also spread like wildfire on social media, with the Vice unis officially being revealed, uh, will be revealed later in the fall. Now, on to women's tennis, which is coming off yet another Conference USA title and NCAA tournament appearance. Their head coach, Katarina Petrovic, has signed a massive contract extension. That will extend her time at FIU until the year 2028. After 11 years in the 305, the Panthers have racked up three straight NCAA tournament appearances as well as two conference titles under Petrovic. Combine that with a 3.7 cumulative GPA this past fall semester, which was the highest of all FIU teams. It's a recipe for success for women's tennis. So congrats to Petrovic. And lastly, for the first time ever, the FIU Law School has passed the University of Miami for a top three position law school in the state of Florida. FIU's law school now nationally ranks as the 60th best, which is 38 spots higher than last year. And it's also the second highest ranking improvement in the country. Uh, As mentioned earlier, UM now drops to number four in Florida as FIU joins the University of Florida as well as Florida State in the top three so big congrats to the law program and that was your brief look into the uh pause up podcast news break so so <clears throat> alec i wanted to ask you know now your time with fiu is over and it's time to get prepared for the draft how's that preparation been like for you you know and you don't have to tell us what teams you've spoken to but if you've spoken to any teams lately throughout this process how has that been for you and just preparing all the way to the big day the mlb draft which I would assume you got picked at some point, in my in my opinion, at least. Um, yeah, it was. It's been good. Um, I've just been doing my own thing. I've been. I probably taken two weeks off, so I'll be getting back after the baseball and lifting. I think I might go to play some summer ball in the draft league for a month before the draft. So. Mm. Um. So hopefully, do well there and get drafted. So I I don't I don't want to start to create a rumors but is there any do what teams in 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 the big leagues that um if they if they were to draft you would feel like you you would fit in the most with their current rosters if any uh the Braves oh Atlanta damn the Braves. okay nice bye I like the pick just because my favorite pick. players uh mm-hmm. Acuna, yeah. so mm. I would want to yeah. play with him. Uh, yeah, I can. I can just imagine. But speaking, speaking more about MLB. Just, I, I, I know you. I know you've been following the major leagues. So, just what, what, what teams have just been really been standing out to you? And, and, and how do you think this, this season is going to go down for some of the big name teams in the sport? I think. Like I said, the Braves. The Braves are going to win the World Series. Um, Again. Okay. <laughs> but I think the Rays are frauds. They're going to be frauds. They're winning now, really? but I don't think they're going to go. Ah, okay. I don't, <laughs> All right. Um, the Marlins are surprising Mets? me. They're surprising. Surprising in a good way or a realistic way? Good way. A good, a good way. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> They're doing hey man, they're, they're winning right now. That's unthinkable. They're winning right now. I'm not gonna jinx. Are they? It. Yeah, they're they're winning three to two. Were they taking on San Diego, right? Yeah, the Padres. Yeah. Okay, okay. Sandy through. Yeah. Mm, okay. Anything on your end, Johnny or Jake, before we get into some fun questions with Alec? Yeah. Uh, th- this kind of is a fun question, but since we're on the topic of MLB, what what pitcher? In the MLB right now, would you most want to go up against? Uh, Logan Allen. (laughs) (laughs) What what, what would be the outcome, though? What would be the outcome? 
Hmm. I gotta say, I'm gonna base hit off on probably home run, honestly. Okay. How 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 would you think the outcome would go? I can't go? say he's gonna get me out though. You're right, man. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. How would the outcome be against o- Otani? What well, you versus Otani? What what's what's the at bat looking like? Uh, like I said, I'm gonna base hit. Oh, okay. He's, you have to be confident, gonna... Jake. Yeah, of you gotta course. Be confident. Yeah. Got to be confident at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or I'll say this: You've had a lot of uh, ba- college baseball. Who was the hardest pitcher you faced? Any uh, who, who, who you go with? Probably Sam Bachman from Miami, Ohio. I was at I was at that game back when we, when we won. Myra got the yeah. the twelve strikeouts. I remember that. He just got he just got called up actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's with uh, the Angels, right? Yeah, that was that was that wasn't fun. <laughs> yeah. So I think we can get into some fun questions before we wrap it up. So I'll start, and then we'll go Jake, Johnny, and go right back. So I'm gonna start with this one. Who is the funniest teammate you've had this past season? Yeah. Funniest guy in the locker in the, in the clubhouse. Uh, <laughs> there's too many. Uh, oof. you can shout out a couple know. of people. All right, Pazos, uh, yeah. Angel, Santana, uh, Mario, everyone. I don't, I don't know, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jake, you're up. Okay, so who on on, on those long bus rides um, to 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 your opponents? Who's who's getting the ox cord, and who would you not most not want to get the ox cord? Most not want to get the ox score, probably. Uh, <laughs> Some hearts are about to be broken. Uh, <laughs> probably positive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you got to give me the ox. Okay. All right. what, what, what what are you playing? What's, the young what, boy. Okay. Yeah. Man, that's the fish scale. You know, that's his walk up song. Everyone knows that, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, Johnny. Johnny, you're up. I gotta I gotta go with I wanna know about a little story. I know I was told how uh crazy traveling you guys were this year. I know what was it? I, what was it like traveling with FIU from a standpoint? I know your your bus broke down going to FAU, going back from FAU. You, you guys are stuck in Atlanta for like a night. What, what was that like? The whole Traveling. It was ter- terrible, the worst experience ever. But hey, it was—you'll never get to do it again. So, yeah. looking back at it, it was just all funny. Now, uh, let me think. It went, the Fort Lauderdale Airport got flooded, so we couldn't fly out of there. Oh so yeah. We had a, so we had to drive to Orlando, fly out of there to Houston. If something happened, Houston, we had to drive all the way to La Tech. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> we got the lot tech at like four a.m. Oh my that night. Four a.m. Uh, on the same day as as first pitch. Mm-hmm. You hit a home run that game, I think, right? Yeah, me and Mike. Yeah, yeah, you hit a home run same game. Yeah. So, anything on your end, Jake, Johnny? Any more? Any more questions you guys want to ask? I, you know, you, you brought up Chipotle earl, earlier, Alec, and now I just got to know, what's the go-to order? Bowl of white rice, black beans, chicken, cheese, and corn. Hmm. So the Alex and answer. Chip, and chips. And chips. Oh, and chips. That's very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny, we need to know why you, why you don't like Chipotle, though. Yeah, what's up with that? Yeah, I mean, okay, I never had it before. That's what I'll say. I never oh, had it. I never had it. You've never had. All right, n- next time on Miami, I'm gonna take you there. No. Where, where, okay, where, wait, where, where is the nearest Chipotle to campus? Is it like right? It's by it um, on Flagler by PDQ. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. Still right. standing by Moe's. Moe's. Moe's is better. Moe's. Uh, Moe's is good, but it's not better. I don't think anything beats Chipotle, man. Mm. Nothing. So, Fast. by the, the the last question I had actually, um, uh, you you've played with a a, 
a roster that has their fair share of, of, of freshmen, sophomores, and, and some juniors. And assuming most of them uh, make the return to FIU next season, what, what player uh, do you think is going to pop off the most uh, next year that fans should really keep an eye out for as they develop? Um, Pitching-wise, I think Owen Puck, he's coming back from – Tommy John, so he's a, he's one to look he's one to look for. Um, hitting position hitting probably anything. Probably Roy. I think Roy. Okay. Um, yeah. Roy. Maybe the all freshman team. So. Great yeah, pick. he did. He made he made all freshman team. Yeah. So yeah, I think Roy and Puck are two players to look for. And, and I I know I know Scott watches these watches these shout, shout out Scott Carr. Um, yeah. you you you've spent quite a bit of time at the FIU baseball stadium. Just what are your what are your general thoughts on on, on your workspace and 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 what what improvements do you think could be made to the FIU baseball stadium? Um, I think they're getting a new scoreboard. Right. Don't mark. Oh, that's much so, needed. So that's, that's coming. Good. So that'd be nice. Um, the field playing wise is good. I like it. Um, in the early season, it's really good, but when the season winds down, it gets pretty rough. But it's not that bad. Um, I think they should upgrade the stands a little bit. And uh, I don't know. I like the our locker room's nice. The indoor's nice. So they're doing a good job over there. And and the last question for me: you, you've you've worn quite a bit of different FIU uniforms. What was in your opinion, the cleanest FIU uniform you wore? Probably with the last names on the back. I like. That's the one everyone says. Yeah, those are yeah. good. I so think I've heard Ryan you guys did the exact same thing. He did say that. I've heard you guys don't like the the all baby blues because they look yeah. like pajamas. No, it's only Guido. You probably heard that from Guido, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I I, like I, I I did think that. Uh, I, I, I do love those those unions with the names on the back just just to just to see the player names because it's not something you see a lot with either basketball or baseball so when you have them there it just looks it, it it's a lights out look man. lights out lights out I saw that coming mm. <laughs> anything on your end John before we wrap this up what's up Alec Oh, look at How's football going to be this year? They're going to be good. Have they are, of football. course. Make a quick record prediction for football. Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what's your record prediction for FIU football? So the world will know. I don't know who they. I don't know who they play. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Well, do you I, think it's likely they're going to be better I'm gonna than be last year? With Renee? I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I, if I see the schedule, I'll be real. Oh, boy. Shout I'm out to Soto Longo, dude. Alex Sanchez, the FIU GOAT. I'm going to pull the schedule Soto. for you. Okay. Yes, pull it up. I, I heard they play Arkansas this year. Is that true? They yes, do play that's Arkansas. A, that's, that's, a, a, never, that's like an end of the year game. Never know. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Are you pulling I it up, Jake? Or? I am, I am, I'm gonna I come am. To, I'm going to come to the first game. Oh, you are? Nice. Oh, okay. Getting some, getting some football in in, in a baseball uh, uh, episode, but here we go. They're kicking it off against Louisiana Tech. It's going to go game by game. All right, I think that's a lot of tech. That's an L. That's an L, um, okay. Maine, they're gonna beat. Yep. Okay. So one on one uh, is North Texas. How's North Texas? Uh, they, I think they were like they went to the championship last year. They went to the championship last year. They did. They were the championship winners. All right. We'll win. We'll win that one. Upset. Here okay. Go. Upset oh, alert. Okay. UConn. Two one. I, uh, I don't know about that one. Oh, are, are we thinking two an L? Two. It is two in Connecticut two. too, right? Two and two. Okay, two Three. and two. Liberty homecoming. Liberty's new to the conference. Yeah, but they but they have been a great program for the past few years. They they have been a damn good program. <laughs> they said damn good. So all right, so we we're losing. 
that one. <laughs> the New Mexico um, State, who I you did did knock off last year. Okay. I like them knocking them off this year again. Okay. UTEP. That's a win. Okay. We're on a hot streak. Two wins in a row. Sam Houston State jumping up from uh, FCS oh, to FBS. Yeah, that's another win. Now Jacksonville State. They're also I mean, coming from FCS what's that to record? FBS. What's, what, what's that record so far? Uh, okay, so the record so far, it is it is a 5-3 and three record. Okay. Um, so, I think Jacksonville State's uh, the last win. So bowl. Oh, there bowl. you go. Six and Born state. Oh, last one. Oh, okay. So we're at six. So you think you said last win. So you think the last three games are going to be L's, Middle Tennessee, Arkansas, and West Kentucky? Yes. Mm, okay. okay. Hey, we're going to a bowl, bowl game. game. We're going to a bowl game. That's that's My not prediction. Bad. There six you go. Six. six and six. All right, not bad. We'll, not bad. We'll, we'll, we'll hold you to that, Alec. Come the um the end of the I season. I told you I'd be realistic. No, I, I appreciate That's that. Better. You're like the anti Jonathan Mayer, right? With, with, with your I'm going 12 and 0. 13 and 0. 13 and 0 with the oh, okay. Ball. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 13 and 0 because of the ball. Duh. Like, yeah. You got to have the confidence. Oh, oh, what, one last question for me, um, Alec. And um, I've asked every FIU athlete this, so I'll ask it again. Who is on your Mount Rushmore of FIU athletics? Could be a player or a coach. And all time, all time, any all time. sport is valid. Um, Mike Lowell, okay, Lowell, exactly. it's a fire. Pack. Um, T.Y. Hilton, okay. Um, do we have any good soccer players that are like retired? Like, Steven I, Afrifa's I in the MLS now. Yeah, 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 you have a Afrifa in in the professional leagues now. That's right. I'll I'll say. I'll see. Got to go with I don't know Logan. All right. All right. That's, that's, yeah. Okay. Mm, shout out Logan. Shout out Logan, but that's my I don't know the last one. Do y'all have a last one? If I I would my my personal okay so my personal Mount Rushmore starts. You gotta off be a basketball today. player, right? Well, it, then you put Raja Bell. You could put Raja. Yeah. You could put Arroyo. I didn't know any basketball players, so that's why. That's fair. shout out Raja as well. Yeah, but, I told y'all had him on here. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We did. We did. That was super sick. And then we had Ryan Guido right after. <laughs> that 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 whole Who's experience. The next guest. Crazy. Who's our next pick guest? The next guest? You uh, wanna? Yes. Let me pick the next guest. Go for it. Uh, it's from the baseball team. Go with um. No promises. Yeah, no promises. Go with go with Mike. Yeah, Mike Rosario. Rosario. Rosario? Okay. All right. All in due time. We want to get all the big names of baseball. Yes. We want to get, get Logan Allen. Oh, I'll try to get Logan. I'll try to get Logan in here for y'all. For real? Oh, well, oh you could. Yeah, if you could hook that you, up. If I'll, you could I'll, hook us up with Logan. Now we're talking. Try. Now we're talking. All right. Because we, we we'll, just we'll got our that. first um, professional athlete in, in Raja, right? And we want to keep that going, right? So, you know, T.Y., Sip, if you're watching, you know, this up and uh Alec, if you can help us out with logan that would be super sick as well i'll try <laughs> all right well again thank you so much for your time alex sanchez pleasure as Absolutely. always uh talking with you about some fiu baseball and uh I, I, again you have some big things coming your way so if you sure. would like to say something to i don't know the fiu fans or to maybe some scouts who could be watching the floor is yours alex <laughs> Um, I just want to say thank you to all my teammates at FIU for the amazing times. Um, thank you to everyone that helped me through all four years there. And I hope FIU the best and pause up. Mm. Thank you, guys. It's all right. All so, right. again, thank you so much for having us, Al. Or thank you for being on with us, Alec. And no, thank you, Kevin and Johnny. Me. Of course, it's a pleasure. Um, and, uh, for, yeah, just like Alec said, Pause up. Pause up.